Hi, so this is the next do-it-yourself youth kit and we have a few different things in our kit today. We do have an instruction sheet. We also have another challenge, um, which you'll find out when you get your kit. We have a bunch of different ingredients. Some of them have in the kit and a couple of them I've asked for you to hunt for at home. But let's get started. All right, so this is the, the do-it-yourself portion and this is what you're gonna actually have in your kit. So when you receive your kit, you're going to have cut up pieces of pool noodles. We're gonna have some baking soda, a tea light, some string, some glow sticks, paint, paintbrush, and sticky eyes, and also some glitter. And this is so you can make your very own do-it-yourself foaming candle. Okay, so the goal is to try and make the old-fashioned spooky drippy candles that you would see maybe in a Halloween display. So what we're gonna do is take these pieces of pool noodle, we're going to paint them. So you should have a little paint tub in your kit with your paintbrush. Go ahead and paint them however you'd like. I would suggest you maybe put a little bit of glue, just regular craft glue around the top and create the dripped candle look. You can do that. If you don't want to do that, that's fine too. So when you're done that and they're dry, you can glue them together or you can just use a little bit of tape. Just create the shape of how you want them to be. You can use the string if you like just to tie around the outside of them and you've also got some glitter to put wherever you'd like. Now what you're going to do is pick um, one of your candles, whichever one, to put your tea light on top. Um, you can also use the glue sticks, sorry glow sticks for that as well. The last part which is the fun part is we're going to create the foam reaction and it's similar to when if you've ever made a volcano which if you're part of our program in the past we have done. So we're going to make a foaming candle here in a minute. Let's get to that. Okay so for the last part it's the fun part. So in your kit you have the baking soda. So if you've done this before, as we mentioned, we're going to create our volcano effect. In this case, it's our foaming effect. So we're going to take some of the baking soda. We're going to, you have two choices. You can just do baking soda and vinegar, which just makes it foam and fizz. But if you want more of the foaming and if you want to change the color, um, use a little bit of food coloring and a little bit of dish, dish soap and it actually has that prolonged foam effect that you kind of want to make it a little look a bit more spooky. So let's move on to that. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and in my bowl here I've added my dish soap, my food coloring, and my vinegar and stirred up a little bit so we're ready to go. And in my actual foaming candle, I've gone ahead and stuck a little bit of tape on the bottom so that the liquid hopefully won't run completely out and also put it on a plate. So if you want to put this out on Halloween night um, for anybody that may possibly come around, again, we have to watch our COVID precautions, but I'm sure you're going to have fun anyway. So we're going to go ahead and put our baking soda in the section that you want it to start foaming, which I have done. And then we're going to take our mixture of the dish soap vinegar and food coloring. We're just going to pour it right on and there you go. And if you want more just keep adding and have fun with this. Happy Halloween!